Okay, so we just finished completion of our Leviton EVR30. And I'm just making the video because I've uh, looked over YouTube and so far I haven't seen anyone actually post an installation of an EVR30. It, um, I think it's a relatively new unit and uh, we're really excited to get it in. So my car is actually hasn't uh, arrived yet but um, we've went ahead and installed. So uh, we've had my electrician come in and he's uh, done the work. Jay, can you just tell us quickly what, uh, what you had to do, how long the installation took, uh, if, um, if it went smooth for you? Uh, we were lucky to have uh, the panel very close, so uh, installation was quite quick. We didn't need too much wire. The unit calls for 30 amp. It's very high 30 amps, so as recommended in the manufacturer's instructions, a 40 amp circuit was sufficient. So we ran an eight two, a two conductor number eight copper from the knockout in the back of the unit through the wall and into the panel. After we took out a permit and made sure that uh, we were using a licensed electrical contractor. Right on. And, and it's then we connected it to a two pole 40 amp breaker to give us uh, our 240 volt input. Okay, and it's a one stud install. A lot of these go on two studs. This one is very uh, form factor design, so it only needs one stud to mount to, which was cool. And then the only other thing we noticed is that the core, which right now we've just got on the floor, uh, it was either designed to fit around the unit itself, or there's an auxiliary hanger that you can purchase that we didn't. Um, so probably what I'll end up doing is, you know, going to a hardware store and just um, purchasing a, uh, you know, some sort of a hook to hang it on. But uh, yeah, so that's good. It comes with an 18 foot uh, cord and it's the standard uh, plug for EV. And I think that's about it. So yeah, successful. Looks great. Look at that. Fantastic. Thanks, Jake. Good work.